World War II is full of incredible stories from all over the world, uh, from multiple countries, even countries that were uh, looked at as being on the wrong side of history still did some crazy things. And sadly, in early 1945, the Japanese kind of had an incredible thing happen to them, just not not incredible for them incredible for the british basically the british needed an air base they needed to get as close as they could to japan or be able to defend against them this is a little island in the bay of bengal the japanese have had the island for a little while at that point and in order for the british to be able to take over the island they had to well get rid of the japanese so for six weeks the british and the 36th indian infantry attacked the japanese and laid down a siege to try to get rid of them and they eventually ended up splitting the japanese into two separate groups there was a large group on one side of the island and then there was a smaller group of roughly a thousand some people say up to 1500 but it's generally about a thousand to twelve hundred well this smaller group as i said ended up breaking off and ended up getting separated and there were miles upon miles of salt marsh behind them and of course here there are saltwater crocodiles now saltwater crocodiles are the largest crocodile species on average i mean these guys routinely get 15 16 feet uh you know in 18 19 footers um, are you know they're not impossible they happen and these guys get that big because they travel in the oceans like they can literally island hop in the middle of the pacific ocean and they can survive and they're big enough to be able to take down basically whatever they want their bite force is also pretty much one of the strongest out of any animal and they're mean they're i mean at least by crocodilian standards they're basically like top maybe the nile crocodile is a little bit above it so basically there's all that in the way of their other group on the other side of the island and the british start coming in and what do they do well they decide we are going to wade through the eight miles of croc infested mosquito ridden swarms of all sorts of stuff that no, you don't want to mess with. You're going to get sick. You're going to get diseases. But that's the only way through. So they go through it. And for the first little bit, there wasn't really any issues. You know, besides, you know, people getting bit by mosquitoes. Again, mosquitoes, mosquitoes, mosquitoes. Those are the true villains here. You know, you get malaria. You get all sorts of stuff. You just die. Crocodiles normally don't mess with you. Well, at least <laughs> that's what these people hoped. So they're climbing through this swamp. And all of a sudden, you know, some people start lagging behind because they get tired, you know, it's hot, you know, they don't really have any clean water or food, like they, they, they're low on their rations, they're, they're kind of screwed, a lot of them are injured, they've been shot at, you know, they were, they're in a war, and people start straggling behind, and what happens? Crocodiles start happening, people start disappearing, they hear a scream and then nothing and this goes on for a day and a night you know mostly it started happening at night and then as the day progressed you know starts slowing down a little bit but then by after a few nights all of a sudden the crocodiles started not caring and what did they do well they went in and started picking people off left and right they started actually attacking the large groups in the daytime the soldier would walk past the log and instead of it being a log it was a log with a mouth and it had jinniku on the mind jinniku long pork it was hungry for people people ended up getting chased up trees and the crocodiles would wait at the bottom of the trees for them to either come down or they jump up and try to grab them Eventually, they got so bold that when the soldiers were able to find some high ground out of the water to actually camp, the crocodiles would come onto land into the camp, grab them kicking and screaming back into the water. Like, they were going nuts. And by the end of a week of being out in the swamp, they finally got to the other end. Or, I should say, what was left of them got to the other end, beaten up some of them as they said shot at and a lot of them injured from crocodiles if not just wiped out out of the thousand or so men that went into that swamp it's estimated anywhere from 250 to 450 people made it out there's just no real tell on the numbers like the, the it, they change all the time 
The British did end up capturing 20 of them, though. But a lot of them didn't make it. Now, here's where things kind of take a turn. Even though the Guinness Book of World Records rules this as the biggest massacre by crocodiles ever, and it has an asterisk next to it because we truly have no idea how many people actually died because of crocodiles. Now, people were eaten. There were definitely people who were killed by crocodiles in this incident, but it is actually seriously doubted that out of all the people who didn't make it, that they all died from crocodiles. They, they probably died of exposure, um, from, you know, being shot, you know, all sorts of other injuries, and they just couldn't make it through all the swamp, and they probably, some of them probably drowned. The crocodiles started eating the dead bodies, and I'm sure the crocodiles did eat some of the people and actually go through the process of killing them. I'm sure that did happen, but not every single one of them. Crocodiles don't normally act like this. I mean, yes, there are certain crocodiles like the saltwater crocodile that are that are well known for attacking and killing and eating people. It definitely does happen, but not at this rate. This is just extreme, and I just, it's it almost certainly did not happen like the stories say it did. I mean, come on, there's awesome the things that happened in World War II. Like, I mean, again awesome stories and this probably happened and didn't need all the embellishment it's like again the hobbit trilogy they put a white orc in there as this big baddie when he wasn't even like in the book and then all of a sudden he gets like a ton of airtime and they take out things that were awesome from the book and they just left it out completely because they wanted a freaking white orc in there that was just terrible cgi like that's what this is that's what this is it was an incredible story, and it just turns into, yeah, the crocodiles are man-eating machines, and they killed almost 600, 700 people. No. No. It did not happen like that. It did not. But what do you think? Maybe I'm wrong. I seriously doubt it, though. And yeah, I, you know, maybe the truth lies somewhere in the middle there. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you like this video. If you're here watching for the first time, thank you so much for watching. Again, guys, thank you so much for 200,000 subscribers. It just blows my mind how great this fan base has become. I enjoy seeing some of your, every single one of your comments. I try to reply to as many of them as possible. And a lot of you guys I see on every single video, and it's awesome. I, of course, also do shorts on TikTok, Instagram, and here. There are the same shorts. And I'm trying to really build this YouTube channel up. So if you liked it, please like the video, share it with some people. Let's have fun here. I'll see you on the next one. Stay wild.